Okay, I'm back again. I kind of stuttered through the end of the video, uh, the last video I was doing, because I noticed I was running out of time, and I kind of went through things real quickly, and I was stuttering and having a hard time finding the right words I was trying to want to use. So I'm going to explain things again. Uh, the um, heart mender remo removes the one-one counters from your persist creatures, so they get to persist again. And what's really good with Kitchen Finks is it, every time it comes into play, you gain two life. And it's really nice to have your opponent constantly block your kitchen finks, killing it. It comes back to play. You gain the two life. Then you use something like your Johnny or your Meadow Boon to remove the 1-1 one -one counters. And, and then you get to do it again. And you constantly, you're gaining life. I don't know how many times I've finished out a, a game against an opponent and I've had over 30 life. Um, the Rustic... I uh, can't pronounce this. Clack can. I don't know how you want to pronounce it. It's got reinforced, and it's nice if you if you're in the middle of you know playing and you got maybe just one of your creatures has a negative one counter on it, and they go to do something like burn it. You can um, prevent it from going to the graveyard forever by dropping this on it, removing the one one counter. Then the burn ability takes uh, effect, and it goes to the graveyard and it persists again. It gets to persist back into play and and last another. Uh, you know, at least until he tries to kill it again. But as you can see, it's pretty self-explanatory. The uh, the persist, basically, the whole thing is making your persist work for you and uh, constantly putting 1-1 one, one counters on them. I do recommend if you try to build this deck, um, you take two sets of dice with you. I, I, I use a set of blue dice to represent the negative 1 counters and a set of red dice to represent the plus 1 counters. That way it doesn't confuse, you don't get confused and it doesn't confuse your opponent. And everybody's able to keep track of what's what. Um, as I started explaining at the end of the last video, the, when you wrath a god, you can wrath destroy all their creatures, destroy all your creatures. Your creatures persist back into play. They all have negative one counters on it. Then if you happen to have a Johnny out, you use his ability. Bam, you remove all the one one counters. And it's almost like your wrath of god destroyed all their creatures and, and, and left yours intact. And, that, and that's very good to have um over here you see restless apparition it's you know i know it's hard to see in the video but his ability is you can pay three white or three black but since it's a mono white deck you're only going to be playing three white play three white to give him plus three plus three until end of turn and what's good about that is it you can use that ability as often as you want i've uh, you know i've had as much as six lands out in play and was able to use his ability twice and pumped them up to a uh, an 8-8 creature <laughs> and and you know you want to do that when you're swinging at them uh they tend to see you know they see this guy swinging at them and they know he can be pumped up to an 8-8 and what they'll do is they'll focus on blocking him and they'll allow one of these to come through and sometimes if they focus on blocking this guy and you decide not to pump him up or they might be expecting you to pump him up twice if you do have six lands in play but if they block them, you can just pump them up once just to save them and then keep your other three lands untapped. That way, they don't know if you have an unmake in your hand or not. And if, and if you leave your three lands untapped, they they might think, wow, he's doing that because he's got an unmake in his hand. So this is a really good bluff card too. So um, I hope I explained everything correctly. If anybody has any questions, go ahead and uh, either comment it in the video or do a video response. Um, I hope I made everything clear with this deck. Like I said, it's done pretty well. Uh, the last time I was in a tournament, I was, uh, I believe it was 25 people, and I placed 8th, which I know is not the greatest, but uh, it was high enough for me to win prizes. So, um, you know, for something that's something, you know, and this deck's also very cheap to build. There's nothing more satisfying.